Anyone who can run a successful transport business in a country like Burundi in East Africa must be a shrewd operator. And this businesswoman has another important job. When I took over the presidency in 2004, I established three main objectives. Transparency in the way the championship was run, over the transfer of players, and finally over finances at all levels, because in the past there were problems. Above all, our objective was to bring credibility to Burundi football. Burundi is no different from any other African country. Football is everywhere. But their history is different. It's one of the 10 poorest countries in the world. 12 years of civil war between the Hutu and the Tutsi tribes killed an estimated 300,000 people. Organised football stopped for several seasons while players were drawn into the conflict. In 2005, FIFA re-established links with the Burundi Football Federation after Lydia Nsekera took over as president, only the second woman in Africa to hold such a post. The Federation survives thanks to the $250,000 that we receive from FIFA. With that, we support the clubs and we support the youth. We hand out balls to everything. If we didn't do that, football would die. The first FIFA goal project financed the new headquarters in 2005. FIFA funding has also paid for a national training centre as well as a new artificial pitch at the National Stadium. Previously a low standard surface affected by the rainy season, the pitch has brought new enthusiasm and purpose to Burundi's footballers and fans. How can you get a true bounce of the ball when the grass is up to your ankles? Synthetic pitches, which are always flat, allow you to produce players that will always develop. I remember when the pitch was built three years ago. It has turned things around for us, and we are extremely happy with the results. The pitch is still something new for everybody in Burundi. And how's this for halftime entertainment? The Royal Drummers of Burundi with a performance which has been the same for centuries. They've toured the world, appeared in films, recorded a handful of albums and influenced Western music, success the nation's footballers would love to emulate.